having the proper sights on your handgun can help you to get on target quickly. And in a self-defense situation, that is extremely important, especially with a small concealed carry type pistol, something that is compact or subcompact. So today we're going to look at applying some of the excess sights, and this is their Big Dot 24-7 sights, and this will really help you get on target. We're going to install them, we're going to shoot, but what we're really going to do is do a thousand round torture test uh, with these sights applied to this little Glock 26. Now with the 24-7 Big Dot Tritium Express sights, you get, of course, the rear and front sight. Uh, it has a very large dot and that makes it really fast to be able to get on target. You also get a Delron little rod, a small hex key, a small tool that has a uh, that can fit your front sight with this little hex driver and then you get some Vibratite. Before we install it I wanted just to show you that big dot and then you have a tritium insert so it's going to be really fast to get on target and we'll take another look at it once we get it installed and you get detailed instructions on how to install the site. I mean, it is picture gram. This is perfect for me. <laughs> now, I'm gonna use one of the MGW site adjustment tools, but this will show you how to do it, and uh, it's really pretty simple. Make sure the gun is unloaded, empty magazine, chamber is empty. Uh, of course, first thing you have to do is pull the trigger, pointing it in a safe direction, bring it back about a quarter of an inch, and then pull down on your tabs. Standard stuff for those who own Glocks. Now this is one of the older Glock 26 and it has a pinned front sight right here, uh, but the standard new sights will fit in there. Here you can see how it's actually pinned into the slide. Uh, with the new ones you have a hex screw and uh, you can just easily remove it. Now to remove the pinned front sight you'll need a punch and a small hammer. I uh, got these at Brown Ales, great source for tools and also this little bench block. We're just going to take, now there are ways you can do to save this, but I don't really care about saving it. So I'm just going to pop it out. And there we go. The MGW sight tool, here it is, uh, again from Brownells, but w this is really easy to do with your Delron punch just to push this out. But I really like this tool. But you want to make sure you drive the front sight out from the left this way. We're going to slide in our front sight and lock it down. And now we're just going to turn and just get that sight right out. Again, you can take a punch and just push it out, but I like doing things over complicated. <laughs> now we're going to release it, and now we'll just pull that sight right out. Now there's a plate underneath the sight. You can see this one's rusted just a touch, so we're going to knock it out with a punch and a hammer. There we go. Going to clean that up with a little denatured alcohol. Once you get that done, just let it dry. You also want to clean where the front sight was. There we go. Also take your sight that you're going to replace and go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. Also getting rid of any kind of grease. I'm going to go ahead and remove that screw as well. Now the instructions say to test fit your front sight before you get started. We'll get it in place. Go ahead and put our little screw into the little hex wrench. We're going to test it just to make sure it fits. And it fits just right, so we're going to take it back out and we're going to apply our thread locker. Now we're adding a little bit of thread locker to our front sight. Uh, they recommend to go ahead and cover an area, the surface of your front sight. Uh, you don't want to put too much, but you want to definitely have it stable. And then we're going to let that dry. Now we're going to install the front sight, so go ahead and set it down into the slide. I put a little bit of grease into the head of the wrench and this will help to keep that screw in place. And then just tighten it down. 
Okay, good and tight. You want to make sure the surface is flat with your slide. If you have any excess thread locker, you want to clean that up around your slide and definitely underneath. Now according to excess, you need to be able to install your front sight by just sliding it in. A little bit different than the pressure fit. There are some little screws right here that are going to retain it. So you want to take it again from the left side and push it and it does. If this does not fit, then you'll take a little file. All the instructions are that come with the sights, you can look at it. But as long as it fits in here, you want to make sure it's lined up to be even. Once it's even, go ahead and screw down your back sight. You don't want it super tight, but you want it to hold that sight in. Now take our thread locker. We don't want to get it on the threads. And we're going to actually put it just outside on the edges. We're going to let this set for five minutes and then we're going to wipe off the excess. And now we're going to wipe off the excess. Get that excess off. Hopefully everything is seeped down into the site. It's just going to give it a little more bite. Now once you finish this part, you wait uh, two hours before shooting at least. And then you're ready to go. Now it's time for reassembly. Drop your barrel in. Recoil spring. Guide rod. And we're ready to go to the range. Got our rear sight. And then we have that front big dot. It's going to be really fast to get to that big dot. And they're tritium, so they're good for nighttime shooting as well. The big dot sights are very unique uh, in lining up, and you need to know a little bit about it. As you can see, the back post on the back sight. And then as you switch, you set that dot right on top of the post. Not the dot in the post, but it's actually like dotting an eye. So you go from the bottom of the eye to the top. Uh, and then what you do, the dot that's in the front post, that is your point of aim. And that's up, up close and personal, all the way out to about 15 yards. After 15 yards, you actually take the top of the big dot and put it at your point of aim. So these sights are combat sights. They're not made necessarily for super precision, but they're easy to get on the target. Now here you can see the white outline of the big dot sight. Uh, they do make a smaller... Uh, ring or white ring around it for the standard dot but the large dot fills up that whole front post uh, and again this is a green dot and it is tritium the rear sight is also a tritium post you can see how the sight kind of comes down and that allows for the large big dot to go up front and guys that is a big dot Trigicon provides the tritium so these are good quality sights one thing that I do like too is they're not too obtrusive. They're not big and bulky on the pistol, which some sights can be. And uh, this makes it really a nice little footprint. Not much bigger than your standard factory sights, and yet we have metal, tritium, and the advantages of the big dot. Now, XS Sights asked me to do a thousand round torture test with the sights on the pistol. Uh, especially with the Glock 26 because it's so small and compact. And we're using Arms Core 9mm 124 grain and full metal jacket. Uh, I have it all loaded up in some of these G-code bang boxes which makes, especially if you're doing a thousand rounds, <laughs> it makes it really easy to be able to load these and I just dump them out. So ready to go, hit the range. And we're going to be using some of the ETS magazines. I'm also going to test out those. We've had some pretty good success with the Glock mags and so we're going to check these out. We just load some magazines. If you want to, you can just use some of this. Mm. One thing we were just talking about is you see the rounds come up and then how it kind of offsets. It's kind of funny how that seems to kind of 
come together, but it needs to do that to go up this tube. But uh, that way you can kind of see what's going on in the magazine. It's so much fun. It's not very nice to treat your friends like that. <laughs> Unless your friends are trying to kill you. Eat that face up. <laughs> and we're finishing up and here's all the empty boxes. Man, that was a lot of fun. Great sight, great gun, great mags, great ammo. Everything's great. Well, the sights held up very well and there was a lot of loading of magazines. <laughs> And uh, really glad to have Dietrich with me. Really easy to get on target. I did, I like it. It's like, you know, you could find your front sight really easy if they focus on it. Well guys, I'm not gonna bore you with all the monotonous details of a thousand rounds through the pistol. We did go through 1,000 rounds from Arms Corps, of course, as I mentioned, the 124 grain. Uh, they fed flawlessly through all of the, the 10 rounders, the 15 round, and the 17 rounds and most of the 31 round magazines. Uh, I think because the Glock 26 slide uh, frame is a little shorter, uh, it seemed to catch uh, two or three times. Uh, we just had a few issues. So, um, for, But I've shot those 31 round magazines and a lot of other guns and I've never had any problems. It was just in the Glock 26. Uh, but that is something to consider if this is what you're planning to shoot. And I got the Glock ETS magazines from GunMagWarehouse.com. One of the best sources and best prices on the market. Uh, I've gotten quite a few magazines from those guys and a lot of my friends have been ordering them as well. So uh, check out GunMagWarehouse.com for extra mags. We're gonna be doing a torture test and just a mag review of the Glock ETS mags and that's coming up. 
And I definitely want to thank ShootSteel.com. Uh, you know, hearing that steel ring makes things a lot more interesting. And then, of course, with RubberDummies.com, the shooting the dummies, we have shot thousands of rounds into those things. Of course, they're starting to look like it. But uh, that is really a great way to train both elements. And I'll have the links for both of those down below. Now, the XS Big Dot sights, and that's the 24-7 Express Tritium sights, uh, run 125 on the XS sights website. Uh, now, you can go to brownells.com. I think they run about 115 So, you know, you can find prices for less around. Um, the regular standard 24-7 Express sites run $95. And then I think they're $85 on the Brownells website. Uh, that's just where I saw them. Uh, but they do make them for every model of Glock plus a lot of different handgun models. So you can go to the XSSites.com website and check out all the models if you're interested in this big dot uh, site. I, I really think it's a great site to be able to get quickly onto target and uh, be able to, you know, just find that front sight. You know, that's one of the things in, in the classes that I've always attended is front sight, front sight. Of course, there is the front sight gun school, which is definitely about getting on that front sight. Have I said front sight enough? <laughs> Yeah, the big dot's really easy to see, and of course, even in low light conditions, which we didn't test out here, of course, with the thousand round test, mainly the durability of the sights, they hold up fantastic, and uh, we really enjoyed it. Of course, using the ETS magazines, which uh, did really well, and only used those for the thousand round test. So, uh, the new XS sights, big dot 24 7 sights, I think they're a big, uh, big hit, and I'm glad to have them on my one of my concealed carry options. And I want to thank again Dietrich for coming out and helping me load a lot of magazines. It was fun. So check out Skinny Medic's YouTube channel. I'll have the link down below. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And let's make America great again. <laughs> Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs>